Morning folks, it's John with Simply Sprouts Farm. And you know, it's August here in Virginia and uh, actually a nice, nice cool morning. But uh, you start to look around at your crops this time of year and some of them are just not doing well. You, know, you look at like uh, some of these right here and uh, you start going, you know, what's going on? What, what's happening? Why, why are they turning yellow? Well, could be you're not fertilizing them enough and we're certainly giving them plenty of love that way. It could be water. It's not water. So that means it's bugs. And if you do a lot of planting of pumpkins and the related concubrates uh, like we do, it's only one thing and that one thing is squash bugs. So today we're going to show you how we take care of squash bugs down here at Simply Sprouts Farm. Stay tuned. <music> So what we do is we take the dishwashing soap, two to three tablespoons, and this neem oil, and we'll throw it down in here with uh, some water. And we'll be armed and dangerous. Okay, so this is a pumpkin plant, and you can see there's some yellowing on this one, and oh, there's a bee going in that flower, and then there's a, uh, you know. One of the leaves on this one is dead. Um, see, look, it's again, it's uh, it's squash bugs, and the reason I can tell you it's squash bugs is because I know. Look right here. Those are squash bug eggs. Squash bug eggs hatch pretty quickly. They uh, usually, for the most part, are on the underside of the leaves, but for whatever reason this year, they're on the top, mostly. So what you got to do is get them off and just squish them in your hands. And uh, there's plenty of them here. And wherever there's eggs, there's a squash bug nearby. So what we do here is, this is a, this is a two gallon container by the way, in case anybody was trying to do some correct measuring. But uh, what I'll tell you is, in my opinion, the more soap, the better. It's not gonna hurt the bees. And bees went just went in that one. Um, it's not gonna hurt the bees. It'll just uh, take out these squash bugs. And I'm telling you right now, you can go and get any kind of of, uh, of um, pesticide or whatever. We've tried to use seven dust on these on these squash bugs before, and they have um, they've walked through the dust doesn't even touch them so what you do you want to get down <clears throat> in the bottom here because what the squash bug does is it gets down here and starts to suck the moisture out of the plant it'll I guess bite into the stem down here and eventually the plant will die so somewhere on um, probably one of these two plants is a bug and if you start spraying and I'll give it a good soaking. A lot of times the bug will appear. Okay. That says to me there's no squash bug on that one. So we'll go over to this one here. 
<clears throat> and just going down the road. You also look for the eggs while you're doing this. So we uh, this is our third round of spraying for this week. We have killed a lot of squash bugs this week, and uh, hopefully we're getting this under control here now. Uh, I can't guarantee it, but uh, nothing on that one. Also, after a rain, if you come out after a rain, the bugs, uh, their wings get wet and they like to come out on top and dry out, dry out their wings. And uh, when they do that, it's easy to come along and squish them. Okay. Well, that's good news. At least these three plants, no, uh, no sign of bugs. Again, you, you kind of watch because they will pop out of the underneath the plant or wherever they're hiding sometimes. But the other thing you got to do, uh, like I said, those, those eggs normally are on the bottom. But for this year, for some reason, they're putting a lot on the top. Here's a few eggs right here. You can see that. <coughs> You gotta look underside. Make sure they haven't put any under there. Hey, Mr. B. And the bees are really enjoying this one. There's some right here. The eggs right there. Usually the egg clusters are bigger than this, too. We probably just got some. Ah, there you go. That's some weird squash bugs this year. But squish these eggs here. Make sure you get them all. And if you if you tear the plant a little bit, it's not gonna hurt it. You know, I mean, what's gonna hurt it is these eggs hatching and these bugs destroying the plant. So try to squish as much as you can. We'll keep on going down the line. Okay, that should take him out. Uh, there should have been enough soap on him. See how they sometimes will just sit on the top of the leaves. And it's like, it's like going hunting here, guys. I mean, it's, I'm going to tell you one thing. Whenever you see one, there's bound to be more. There's almost always two. Look at this. Yeah, these two back to back. They were getting busy. They got their day. But they will crawl around for a few more minutes. I mean, you can squish them if you want, but they say squishing them creates an alert system and it attracts more. So I try not to squish them. Just let them crawl around for a few minutes and die. And uh, it's been pretty impressive so far. I've been out here for a good 10 minutes, sprayed quite a few plants and not seen uh, that many squash squash bugs so far. So good news. I think our repeated visits down here are working. Again, lots of eggs. Lots of eggs. Gotta get those eggs off. Stay tuned. Not many squash bugs to be seen. I actually just saw one sitting on top of a leaf and I just I had to squish it because I didn't have my soap with me. But again Lots of seeds though. These seeds. Let's, let's crush them up. One thing I'll show you here is, and this is from another video. Remember how we laid these in sheets? Remember how I talked about it kind of congeals together and becomes one big sheet? Well, look. That's a bunch of sheets together. You can see one little tear there and there. But uh it came together quite nicely. The problem with squash bugs is, in another couple of weeks, I'm not going to be able to get between these rows very easily. And uh, they're going to be able to definitely have their way with the plants unless I'm going to wade through all this stuff. So it's now or never to try to get these guys under control. So we'll keep looking for them. Oh, there's one. I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but 
and just ran. Again, you got to spray right in here. That's where they stay because you know they're sucking on the, the plant. I just killed another one over just walking on the paper over here, and uh, so I think that was his buddy. Check this out. Even a plant that is this small, I just got one. See him wiggling right there. So you gotta you gotta spray your plants early, or you'll wind up with an infestation. Here's something you don't get to see very often, but check this out. The eggs are just hatching. And look at all those squash bugs. That's what they look like when they're babies. They'll get bigger and then they'll get whiter and, and they turn into what you've already seen. But the good news is, oh look, I got one on top here, hanging out. flew. See, some of these squash bugs fly, and I don't understand it, but some of them do fly. I think I'm running out of water. I'll get some more water in here. Doesn't take much to kill these little ones, but uh, at least I got one that's flying on film. Uh, sadly guys, this is what happens when the squash bug gets its way. Um, this one here certainly looks pretty bad. It's got eggs. It's got eggs all over it. Got eggs all over these leaves. I'll pick them off here in a minute, but see if I can squirt down in here and see if anybody comes up. <clears throat> They have already moved on to another plant and they'll move on to another plant and as long as you have concubates down here you know they'll hit your squash the pumpkins first and then they'll actually move on to your tomato plants they don't like the tomato plants unless that's the only option but they will go to that once uh they pretty much killed everything uh in the pumpkin and concubate family the, you know your cucumbers your watermelons, any kind of melons, any kind of pumpkins, any kind of squash, uh, they will decimate them. And uh, this is what happens. And I was out here yesterday and this plant is pretty much fine. It happens very quickly once they start sucking all the juices out. I've definitely hit the mother load of photo options today. There's some more nymphs. They've been around for a little while. Spray them down. Just waiting to get big so they can make more eggs and eat all my pumpkins. So, spray them down. I'll take care of them and I'll spray down in the in the base too to make sure I got them all. Oh, there's Daddy. Big Daddy's right there. I don't know if you can see him now. Come around this way. He may have already dropped. Nope, he's still there. Yeah, I got him. A lot of times I think I kill a lot more than I actually ever see because uh, you get underneath the side of leaves and stuff and <coughs> spray the soap and it gets them. I mean, they'll live for a little bit. Oh, there's another one over here. They'll live for it a little bit, but uh, they don't last very long. Uh, once they get that stuff on them. So this one's covered in nymphs. There's some more nymphs over there too. So let me get to stop filming and get to spraying. And I just about to wrap up this morning and something caught my eye. It just shows you how sneaky these little guys are. They hear some more freshly hatched nymphs. There. 
sitting there. I'll make quick work of them with this spray. And uh, that'll be the end of them. But I tell you, these squash bugs, you just got to keep on top of them. That's, that's all you can do. And it uh, doesn't hurt the plant at all. You can spray pretty much every day. Again, if you let these squash bugs get ahead of you, you're, you're gonna have problems. And uh, you're gonna come down to your garden and everything's gonna be dead, including your tomato plants. And I uh, hate to see a tomato plant go, because you know, that's, that's the queen of the garden in the summer. Anyway, I hope this was informative. And uh, if you like our videos, please like us on uh, YouTube and our Facebook, Facebook page. And uh, we'll be coming back with some more videos pretty soon. Until then, God bless and just make better plus. This is John at Simply Sprouts. Have a good day.